Tis the season for coughing and sneezing and sniffling and ooh, it is not just because of the weather and the cold temperatures. It might not be a basic cold right now. Metro Atlanta families dealing with an extremely contagious flu season with symptoms that could get even more severe. Take a look at this map. This is what public health officials are worried about, and it's worse here than just about any place else in the country. Georgia has the second highest flu activity in the U.S., second only to Washington, D.C. And even more troubling, how the virus is impacting minority groups. The CDC just announced today that hospitalization rates are 80% higher for black adults compared to white adults. Atlanta News First reporter Don Shipman live at the CDC headquarters in DeKalb County, where Don, they're telling people to get a flu shot now. Yeah, that's right. Flu cases usually ramp up in mid-November, but already doctor's offices and hospitals are filling up with flu patients. So that is why the CDC is urging everyone to get the jab. It got cold really fast. Patricia Ryder and her husband Richard got their flu shot a little more than a week ago. Richard, in his 70s, worries about getting so sick that he ends up in the hospital. If I do get sick, don't want to get as sick or life threatening. Patricia works with the general public, so she wants to be extra careful. We don't want to get the flu, and of course, I don't want to give the flu to someone else. Right now, the CDC puts Georgia in the red category for flu cases. The newest numbers from DPH show more than 300 flu cases reported in the state during week 39, which just ended at the beginning of October. Flu is Absolutely horrible. CVS nurse practitioner Evelyn Larson is seeing a flood of families coming in for a flu test with the results coming back positive. She recommends getting the shot now so you're fully protected by Halloween and Thanksgiving, even if you think you're super healthy. A lot of times you might have a good immune system and then you didn't get a good night's sleep for a few days or you were stressed out and then that minor illness can really, really hit you. Not really. Okay, that's a little pinch. Orlando lawmen got the jab today, but new numbers from the CDC show racial disparities. Black, AIAN, and Hispanic adults are hospitalized with flu at much higher rates than white adults because vaccination rates among people of color trend much lower. I think there's still some distrust in um, certain communities. So I think it's really important to um, have community centers where people can uh, serve you. And back here live, that's one way that the CDC is attempting to address these barrier barriers, making sure that communities have trusted messengers helping to raise awareness about getting that flu vaccine. We're live tonight in Atlanta. Don Shipman, Atlanta News First. Don, thank you. Tonight